Students and school authorities are frustrated as they have been plunged into darkness for five weeks now over debt owed to the electricity company of Ghana. The situation has adversely affected academic activities and boarding on the campus of the Garden City Special School at Asakari Mampo. Students are forced to spend several hours outside their rooms at night due to the heat. This is making it difficult for academic work to progress. The headmistress of the school, Rosalind Frimpawe, Japan, is worried about the situation. It's been hell. I will say it that way. Because I've been running up and down from their office, regional office, to the district office. They asked me to make letters. I did the letter. I sent it to the district office. I went there to follow up with the letter and I was told it has been endorsed and taken to the region. I went to the region because I wanted to meet the regional director and explain to him that, yes, we owe, we know. We know the school owes ECG. But these are children who are vulnerable. And this particular term has been a bit hard for us in the school because with the male's dormitory, the roof got ripped off. So they are sleeping in the classrooms. And for them sleeping in the classroom and no lights, I mean, it means some of them will not sleep. The school depended on a power generator, which also broke down. The headmistress says the school is yet to receive money from the government to settle the utility bills. As at now, ECG says, until we pay, they will not put the light on for us. But where are we getting the money to pay? Nobody pays school fees here. We don't do any IGF here. So where do we get the money? So until government releases feeding grant to the school, it means we don't have any money. We won't have any money. So are we, continue, are we going to continue sleeping in darkness? At the, this administration block, work is on standstill. William Amankra is the educational director at the Asakori Mampo municipality. He is equally worried about the situation. Them if they could come and restore the power because of the nature of the children up to now. And this mass disconnection, ECGO staff, they've been doing this almost everywhere. Individual houses, companies, some government institutions and the rest. But we are very much concerned because of the nature of the children, special children. And when there is no light, their condition is worst. You see, their issues are triggered by light or darkness. That's why we are so much concerned. Rosalind Frimpong is pleading with the ECG to restore power as the school plans to settle their debt when their funds are delivered. Whatever it is, the bill will be paid. But how can we continue to let these children sleep in darkness? Yesterday, they killed two scorpions near where the boys are sleeping. What if they enter the room and they buy somebody's child? How will we explain it? A difficult moment here for the students at the Garden City Special School as they are being forced to sleep in darkness and intense heat. Some of the students here at their dormitory would have to be staying out for quite some time to get fresh air because their rooms are hot. The headmistress of the school is pleading with the electricity company to turn on their lights as they make way to pay their debt. For your news, my name is Nana Bwachitankwe Yadom. Kumasi.